Good morning, students of class 10. You are welcome back to the e classes now. Let's do the lesson in history. The nationalist movement in Indochina. The nationalist movement in Indochina. And we have reached 2.1 talking model. In our previous class, we have talked about providing education, how far the Vietnamese be educated. So there were many problems if they were given higher studies or education because the French citizens, they fear that they will lose their jobs. And another, it might create a problem that the Vietnamese might point fingers or ask about their rights and colonial dominations. So there was another problem. Here another problem was created. Talking model. Number one, the French were faced with yet another problem in the sphere of education. While providing education, they faced yet another problem. What was the problem? The problem was the elite in Vietnam. Elite means the high classes or the leaders or the rich and the merchants. The elites in Vietnam were influenced, powerfully influenced by Chinese culture. They used to speak Chinese and Chinese culture they adopted. So to consolidate their power, to strengthen their power, French wanted to become powerful and they wanted to rule, to consolidate their power, to strengthen their power. The French had to counter this Chinese influence. The French had to counter or face Chinese influence. Until and unless this Chinese influence is not removed, they cannot consolidate their power or French, they will become weak. So they had to counter these Chinese influence. Somehow this has to be removed and it was not easy. So they systematically, the French, what they did to solve the problem, they systematically dismantle the traditional educational system. Traditional education system was dismantled. Slowly French was introduced, French language and set up French schools for the Vietnamese. The French started construction, they started constructing schools and provided French language as well as uh, along with the traditional Vietnamese language. So they dismantled the traditional educational system and set up French schools for the Vietnamese. The Chinese language had to be replaced because here most of the people, the rich classes, the higher classes, they used to speak Chinese. So the Chinese language has to be, had to be replaced. But what was to take its place? There was a question. If we remove Chinese language, what language should be taught? So what language was to take its place? Vietnamese or French language? Which language should be taught in the school, French school, Vietnamese or Chinese language or French language, Vietnamese or French language. Number five, there were two broad opinions. There were two opinions uh, provided by the policymakers. So first we'll talk about the first opinion and in our next class we'll talk about the second opinion. First opinion, so there were two broad opinions provided by the policy makers. Some policy makers stress that, emphasize that the need to use French. French must be used as a medium of instruction, instruction and teaching. In the schools, the medium of teaching or language or instruction must be French. The educated would respect, in this way, the educated people, they would respect French sentiments and feeling and ideals, ideals. And you see the superiority of French culture. So they see that the French culture is superior. So we must adapt, we must modernize. The Vietnamese allied will think, the Vietnamese will think about that and work for the French. They will send their children to the French schools and there the medium of instruction would be French 
and they would learn French slowly. As they go from one class to another, the French will be introduced slowly to higher classes, one by one at a time, and they would respect the French sentiments. They would also see the superiority of French culture and they would ultimately work for the French. So one of the opinion was this. The other opinion, some of the policy makers, they opposed this. And what was the second opinion? We'll learn in our next class. So this was for today. Thank you for watching so attentively and paying so much attention and being present in the class with me. So thank you very much. You go through this and read at the book as well. You go to 2.1, talking modern, you can read at home also. Do the reading. It's very, very important. You need to do the reading as well at home. So only thing, you go to the online portal every day and so that you will not miss anything. We'll go step by step. So now that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.